Very good morning, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So, of course, the premium group is back and thankfully so far we are doing very well. As we can see today, we, we had really very good profits. As we, as we can see, pound USD, uh, 60 pips of profit, pound JPY, 60 pips of profit, Euro AUD, 30 pips of profit. Of course, there was some losses such as the AUD USD with only 13 pips of loss. And I think the EuroCAD, if I'm not mistaken, yes, the EuroCAD, 12 pips of loss. Uh, today was really great and we ended in a good profit but however yesterday was not very good it was normal i think because we had one trade which has uh, we closed in 45 pips of loss euro aud but however in the other trades we were able to close the day in almost break even so of course this is a really normal things i mean you cannot expect to have a uh, 100% winning ratio in every sing signal. There will be some signals where actually it will be in loss. However, uh, the majority of the signals, the more of the signals are actually going to be in profit. And hopefully uh, in the end of the week, you will see that your account has grown and you ended in profit. But you just need some time to understand our signals. That's why we advise everyone when they are joining our group to start with the demo account first for at least two weeks before moving to the live account. Now, of course, as, as well, uh, we are receiving uh, already the uh, positive feedbacks from our uh, respectful uh, clients. And of course, I'm very happy to see the messages back after stopping for three weeks. So in the end, I believe we are doing very well. And I really hope this is going to be a very fantastic week. So if you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact our support. You can find their contact details in the description below this video. Contact them today and hopefully we will see you there. All right, so let's now begin with the midweek analysis. And of course, as usual, we will start with the Euro USD. Now, to save your time, I have already mentioned the buy and the take profit level for all of the pairs, just to save your time. And I'm just going to take a few minutes only to explain the reason behind each and every signal. So for, for the Euro USD, what hap what's happening right now? If you remember, guys, from the last uh, weekly analysis video that I have sent last Saturday, I mentioned that we can start short the Euro USD. However, uh, I mentioned also that we can expect from the pair to continue the fall right away at the opening on Monday. That is exactly what happened. That is what happened and the pair actually has went all the way. But however, instead of reaching our take profit level, the pair has reversed right on that previous support level. The pair is actually facing a strong support level on 1.214 double three. As we can see, the rejection was strong and the pair has changed the direction to be a bullish uh, direction. Uh, of course, that is supported by the uh, news about the possible impeachment of Mr. Trump, which is directly hitting the currency. And I believe that the bear right now is going to continue the rise. Now, let me just switch to the, to the one hour time frame to show you the reason behind selecting this level to start buying the Euro USD. Now, if we look here at the one hour time frame, we can see that right here we had one support, one support attempt number one, and right here attempt number two of the support. So we had two strong attempts of the support. However, after the bearish breakout ha happened right from that support level, that support has actually become another resistance. But notice something that we had only one single attempt of the resistance. Right on the second attempt, or supposedly to be the second attempt, the pair has actually made the breakout and seems like it's going to continue the rise. And therefore, that resistance is not valid any longer. So what we are going to do, we are going to rely on that previous support level right here. And we are hoping that the pair actually might reverse on that previous support level right here. So we have to wait for the pullback just to, re to retest or revisit the same level of the previous support on 1.21924. And from that point, we can start buying the Euro USD. However, with this strong bullish momentum, I really doubt that the pair can ever reach that level. Let me, of course, show you this. If you guys remember my video about the price action, this price action right here, this candle is actually indicating a continuation in the breakout. Uh, sorry, it's actually this candle, only one single candle. This is the breakout candle. As I said before, usually it indicates a continuation. And once you see this candle has appeared uh, breaking out from any resistance level, you can start buying the pair right away because actually it's going to continue the growth. So therefore, uh, the Euro USD, if we go back to the 4 hour time frame, Euro USD should be good for the buy at the level 1.21924. If we ever had a pullback, 
However, if you are really um, willing to start buying the Euro USD, you can start doing it right now and start go ahead buy the pair. However, please be careful. I am always suggesting to wait for the perfect moments before starting the buy. However, it's really up to you. It's uh, your freedom if you want to start buying the pair right away. And of course, our target is going to be the peak of the resistance right here at 1.2839. So we are actually aiming about uh, 93 pips profit from this trade. And of course, for the safe zone, the safe zone should be ranging at the exactly same level of the strong support level where the pair has reversed. So the safe zone should be actually ranging for almost um 48 pips i would say so there goes your signal for the euro usd and i really hope it's gonna work very well and bring us lots of profits all right so let's now check the pound usd now for the pound usd guys if you remember i have sent the signal that we can start selling the pair right here from that previous resistance level exactly almost right here on 1.36070 and the take profit level was the support level right here however what happened on monday morning that the pair has actually opened and went all the way directly to the take profit level immediately the signal is not qualified anymore or not valid anymore because the signal has already reached the take profit level and once the signal reaching the take profit level that means you should never ever buy or sell again based on that signal because the target has already been uh, approached so therefore please be careful and don't tell me that you have started shorting the pound usd because it has reached that level because that doesn't make any sense we were aiming to short based on reaching that support level we were hoping for a continuation in the bearish momentum therefore i sent you the signal that we can start selling the pound usd right here and hopefully it will gonna go all the way down to the support level so that is what happened instead but instead it didn't reach my entry point it just went all the way to the take profit level anyway what's happening right now with the pound usd the pound usd seems like it's actually going to continue the growth and we are facing a strong uh, resistance level but however supported by the weakness of the usd dollar and the rising of the pound it seems that the pound usd actually going to continue the, the growth therefore what we are going to do actually we are relying on the resistance level right here so hopefully the pair actually gonna reverse on that resistance level and retesting the broken resistance level on 1.36554 exactly where we are going to start buying the pound usd and after that it's actually gonna continue the growth however we have to be very careful right now because the pound usd specifically uh, among all other pairs is sensitive i mean it's critical condition right now because of the brexit news and the weakness of the usd dollar so please guys we have to be very careful any news any unexpected news about anything about brexit or anything else might actually change the direction of the market so this signal is based on a technical analysis and we have to be very careful when we are trading the pound usd and that's the reason i, I wanted to show you on the one hour time frame that this resistance level has already become a, a single attempt of a support level. That's why I'm selecting this, lim uh, this level exactly uh, as my entry point because I'm hoping for another attempt on support number two. So from that point, we can start actually buying the pair. So there goes your signal. Oh, of course, yes, I forgot to mention about the, about the take profit level. Um, hold on, the take profit level should be right here. Uh, not this one, sorry, I, yeah, it made me confused. <laughs> If we go to the daily candles, yes, the take profit level is going to be actually the previous uh, bottom of that support level, uh, that strong support level on uh, 1.37812. There goes your signal for the pound USD and really hope it will going to work very well and bring us lots of profits. Now let's check the AUD USD. Now for the AUD USD, as we can see right here, the pair is actually right now on a strong bullish momentum and we can see that the, the, the pullback has just begun so i just began sorry so what we can expect right here from the from the AUD USD to fall all the way right here to the level of 0 0.77408 which was of course previously a support level and a strong key resistance level so from that point after after finishing the pullback the pair is actually going to continue the rise and hopefully it's going to reach the peak of the resistance level at 0 0.7156 78156 sorry so uh, as simple as that there goes your signal for the AUD USD and of course guys we have to be very careful because the pair actually um, 
is at the top of the resistance level. However, we are hoping for the pair to continue the rise uh, up, upon that support level right here. In general, I think the AUD USD is going to continue the rise in general. But however, we also have to be careful and pay attention that we are having the edge of the safe zone based on exactly the previous support level right here. So the safe zone should be ranging for only 43 pips, no more. So hopefully it's going to be a very good signal and we will make good profits out of it. Let's check now the USD CAD. Now the USD CAD, as again, of course, I have mentioned for you all of the signals for the sell and the take profit level, but let me just explain to you the reason behind each and every one of them. Now, if we look at the USD CAD, we are facing a strong resistance zone right here between this the, the, the sell area, I mean, between 1.27551 and 1.28017. That was a strong resistance zone, as we can see. So most likely what's, what's going to happen right now, the pair actually has a change its direction from being bullish to be uh, bearish. And right now the pair is facing this strong support level on 1.27102. We are hoping that the pair actually going to make a pullback based on that previous support level. However, since the market is actually going in a bearish moment, mom, uh, momentum, it's actually going to continue the fall right like that all the way to the take profit level. The remarkable thing right here on the USD CAD is this fake breakout. Actually, I should have mentioned this in the price action video. Once you see right here an identical twin candles, one of them is a strong bullish candle and the other one is a strong bearish candle and they are very identical like twins. They are having the same size, the same, the same shape and they are just next to each other. That indicates passively uh, fake breakouts. So therefore we can see that the pair actually has continued uh, the fall and that resistance zone is being respected again. So our only hope is another pullback just to retest the broken resistance level right here on 1.27551. And right after that point, we can start shorting the pair and we are aiming the bottom of that support level. So there goes your signal for the USD CAD and I really hope it's gonna work very well and bring us profits. Let's right now check the USD GPY. USD GPY signal, as I mentioned before, it's going to be the buy level right here at 103.663. However, I think the pair actually might fall. Right now, the signal is active. And what I'm expecting from the USD GPY to reverse exactly at, the, at uh, this previous resistance level right here. Uh, right here. That previous resistance level. So we have to wait for the pair to reverse or to fall for another 10 pips before it's going to be actually... Uh, reversing so it's going to reverse hopefully on 103.448 so uh, the USD GPY signal is right now active and I think to be honest with you it's going to be go going in ranging mode or consolidation mode before finally going to be in profit however um, everything is, um, is possible in Forex we cannot change the signal right now and I really don't think I mean I'm looking at the daily candles and everything seems like it's going to uh, the pair is actually going to be uh, in bullish momentum. However, we have to wait some time before uh, the reversal or before be in profit in case you have bought the pair. And if the pair actually going to continue to fall right after this break, let me tell you something, guys, just to save your time and money. If you see the pair actually has fallen below that sub, uh, this resistance level, if the pair actually going to make another bearish breakout candle from that previous resistance, then cancel this signal and you can exit the trade and hopefully we can recover from the other signals. So please be, caref be careful and pay attention to the movement on the USD GPY in case you have entered the signal. Now let's check the USD CHF. I mean, the USD CHF is one of the clearest pairs right now. I mean, it's very obvious how the pair is going to move and therefore we can expect from the USD CHF since we're having right here a strong rejection on that previous resistance. The pair seems like it's going to go in a bearish momentum. I think this is very obvious, honestly. And what we are hoping for that the pair actually might reverse on that previous support level. Let me show you exactly right here. We're having right here a support level, as we can see right here. And here also, it was already a support number one. So we are hoping for another support number two and a pullback. And after that, the pair actually might reverse exactly at the same level of that resistance level. And after that, the pair is going to continue the fall. So we are actually going to start shorting the pair at the level 0 0.77, uh, sorry, double eight seven one nine, And the safe zone should be ranging for only 
37 pips no more because it's actually gonna be the peak of that resistance which actually if the pair actually made the uh, breakout from that resistance it means immediately that the pair has changed the direction and we are aiming almost seven i would say 80 pips from uh, this trade so really hope it's gonna work very well and will bring us good profits now let's check the gold the gold actually going in a bullish momentum right now and the gold as we can see has faced a strong support level right here exactly right here let me just write this a little bit more exactly so this is a strong very strong support zone and the gold no matter what happens not able to break out from that level that means that supported by this uh, support zone the the gold is actually going to continue the rise now what we need to do we have to understand that the gold seems like it's going to be entering a consolidation mode right now at the moment i really doubt that the gold is actually going to have a clear direction and the investors are waiting to see what will going to happen with mr trump and his pos potential impeachment in uh, the white house so i mean we have to be careful to to trading the gold guys this time of the year trading the gold is one of the worst ideas i think we have to see until mr joe biden becomes the president i think it's gonna be the fabulous moment for the gold and in general for the whole forex market to be honest with you since mr trump has become the president forex market is never the same especially binary options i mean i'm suffering with the binary options since mr trump became the president and i remember the day i remember till now what happened in the market and how it was very active 24 7 even in the in the in the uh, uh, hours out of uh, out of trade hours and how everything wasn't working at all <laughs> nothing was working the market was moving so randomly however uh until the time mr mr joe biden becomes the president the offic officially the president of the united states the gold i think is going to be in consolidation mode but however for the meantime we can start buying the gold and uh let me go to the daily candle to show you this we let me just delete this all right so you have uh, the idea now that the gold is actually uh respecting that strong support level right now based on that let me just delete that or just move that yeah based on that pin bar right here we can expect from the gold to continue the rise however we are also having right here a strong support the key support levels and we are hoping for the gold to reverse exactly from that level and continue the growth so we can start buying the gold at the level 1853.55 and the take profit level gonna be 1895.50 so we are actually aiming almost 418 pips profit from this trade however as i mentioned before the gold seems gonna it's gonna be in consolidation mode and therefore i really doubt that the pair gonna be able to reach the take profit level please pay attention to the to the news guys anything might happen might actually change the market and of course never forget that the head of the central bank mr uh, jerome paul is actually gonna make a speech tomorrow at i think about 5 p.m gmt if i'm not mistaken or so like that please ch let's check the news but however he's gonna make a speech and that actually might affect the gold so please be careful guys whatever this guy says might change the whole direction of the gold so if anything happens you know who to blame right you know who to blame his it is jerome paul not salah okay you have to blame Jer jerome paul however um i really hope guys this is gonna be a very profitable week for everyone and in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching